What I want to show you here is a relatively new feature in Power BI Desktop, but a real killer feature. Being able to quickly group up certain columns or dimensions that you have into different groups, say a subcategory group, is really powerful in terms of generating additional visualizations uh, in your reports. So just to double check what I'm looking at here. So we have, let's just look at our products table here for example. So this is a products table with not much information. And you may have tables like this or you may have larger ones, but you can still use this technique. What we sometimes might want to do is we might actually want to group these products into different subcategories. So some of these products might be, uh, say, a, a, a category uh, of a type of food, for example, and then some of, some of the other products might be another type of food and so on and so forth. You, you, can, you can just imagine how this would actually work in your own data. But historically we would have had to create we would have had to say uh, select into this table and we would have had to create a new column but what you can do now is you can create these virtual groups which are so powerful so powerful and they're all connected they still retain all of the relationships in your data model and they do it virtually so let's work through how you can actually do this so the first thing you have to do is you have to go and find the column that you want to do this grouping on so i'm going to select product name here and i'm going to right click on it and then you'll see that you've got new group down here so you can create a group this way there is also another way actually so you can select the column and up in the ribbon you've got new group here so you could go new group and then what it does is it brings up a pop-up box where you need to actually name the group so uh, they've tried to name it for us, but I'm actually just going to call this um, product. Uh, let's call this product sub categories. And everything else looks correct. And then what we do is we select which products uh, or which values in our dimension we want to group. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select product one, two, three, and four. And I just held down control there. And then I'm going to go group. And I'm going to call this sub category one and then enter and then what happens is what which is also cool is that these now get in the subcategory and they disappear from the ungrouped values so now we're only working with what is left over which is great and then say we want to then create subcategory two so i'm just going to then go and select these uh, four so from product five to eight and we'll call this subcategory two and enter and then let's just create one more here so i'm going to go group and then i'm going to call this subcategory three cool so now we've got three subcategories for instance and then i'm going to leave the uh, three others there and then i'm going to go include other group and what that is going to do is it's going to automatically put everything else that remains inside this other group and now this is a perfect example if you wanted to really uh, if you had a list of um, 500 clients for example but you wanted to look at say uh, your five main clients and your or your or your 10 main clients and then you just wanted other then this is a really quick way that you can make an other group and this is going to contain all ungrouped values which is basically the ones that are, that are left over and then once we've done that so now we've created these virtual uh, groups these virtual categories we push ok and then you see here you get this double um, double box connected and we've got product subcategories which is the name that we actually gave um, for for this for this group and now we can actually use this in our report so first of all let's actually just look at and and, and we can use a measure against it uh, it's, it's essentially like another another column another dimension but it's all virtual it doesn't actually sit in our table so say for instance we just wanted to look at um, the total profits for a our products we could easily create a dimension like this we could do some sorting but then say for instance we actually wanted to then see well let's let's see what these are grouped and so i could then grab the subcategory and you'll see here that now we've got in a dimension all these different categories that or additional groups that we created and again i can put my measure against that and then i can create a visualization out of this and remember other is actually was actually the combination of what was left over there and so i'm going to create a uh, a donut chart out of this 
and then I'm going to sort it and then check this out it's all still connected just like a calculated column would be so all of the um, dynamic filtering that you could get from an actual dimension or a column in your data you can actually still get from this virtual group this is a seriously cool feature, seriously cool. And there's so many applications for this, just enormous. I mean, basically any, say, lookup table, lookup table is a great place to use it. Any lookup table, uh, for example, which are these tables, you could then create multiple, multiple additional um, groups, uh, ways to group your information. You can create them on the fly really quickly. They don't, um, you don't have to put them in, into the table. You can have them virtually, and then you can create all these additional uh, all these additional vi visualizations which are all connected up and can dynamically filter each other. So really cool technique and hopefully you can find some use for that in your own analysis.